And now, here is our special guest of the evening, a uh, Mr. Tyrone Power. You know, I've, I've been thinking about your peculiar problem. Yes. And I've come up with the answer. I think the trouble with you is, you see, that you're, that you're, you're too much of a regular fella. You never went Hollywood like so many other people did. And that's why nobody ever recognizes you at parties or, or on the street or anything. Well, what do you mean exactly? Well, you see, today it's not enough to be a big star. You've got you've to act big. Big, 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 big. See? Act. Well, I don't know, Gary. This is the way I am. I, I, I just wouldn't know how to be any other way. Well, I do. I see. Yeah, and I, I'll tell you what I will do. I will give you the benefit of my vast store of experience. Your secret will be that as the pan panel sits there blindfolded, you are imitating me. Whatever I do, you do. And when I'm finished with you, Tyrone, I want to tell you you're going to be an entirely different man. New man. New man. When you go to parties, people will notice you. Some few women may even think that you're handsome. Uh -huh. And occasionally somebody might ask for an autograph. In, in other words, you will arrive through me. You, you follow Make me? Make my whole life. That, 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 Good. That, that, is that enough? Good, fine. All right, then you say you send the panel back in, please. And by the way, there'll be no charge. I do this because, oh, because I like you, basically. You're a fine, fine person. And I do it as an altruistic gesture. Hello. Hello, Jane, of course, Hi, you know. Jane, nice to see you. And Faisy and Bill and Hi, Henry. Jane. All right. Now, I'm going to uh, panel have to ask you to put on your blindfolds, keep them on until you have finished your particular uh, questioning, and then when you are through questioning, you may remove your blindfolds. All blindfolds on, and uh, to classify Tyrone Power's secret, I will tell you it concerns something he is doing. And we'll start with Bill Cullen. Well, I'm going to take a wild step first, and I know you wouldn't dare do this, Ty, but are you giving yourself a crew haircut so <laughs> <laughs> once again you'll look like Gary Moore? Uh, no. It's a temptation, but he's resisting it. <laughs> you know, I, I, find it, I find that story difficult to believe anyway. Uh, here's this thing... <laughs> Is this thing, Ty, that you're doing a physical thing? Yes. Are you using your hands? Yes. Are you holding uh, an instrument therein? No. One of them? Excuse me. <laughs> Bill? Yes, was it a yes or no? Uh, no. I'm sorry, I, Ty, I was talking to myself. Uh, are you uh, changing the appearance of something by using your hands? Yes. I say we're not really changing it. We're only enhancing what's basically there. Oh! oh, oh. <laughs> $20 down, $60 to go. Are you by any chance, Ty, enhancing our uh, friend Gary? No. We'll be driving Are you women. enhancing yourself? You don't need it, you know. <laughs> I would say yes. Oh, yes, yes. Enhancing yourself. Are you doing this from possibly the neck up? Yes. Are you also doing it all over? Excellent suggestion. <laughs> now the audience is laughing. Is there something funny about this thing that you're doing? I see nothing amusing, you? No. No, certainly not. But the audience does see something amusing, is that right? Are you changing? <laughs> Is he changing his clothes? Uh, partially. Thank goodness. Forty dollars down, forty dollars to go, and we go to Henry Morgan, please. Gary, would I be interested in knowing what you're holding in your mouth? <laughs> you sound like a tailor. <laughs> Robert, I hope. <laughs> oh. Yeah, your other double. Um... <laughs> Do you really need me? <laughs> Hooray! Well, uh, then may I take this occasion of wishing you a very happy new year. And... Hi. Are you people leaving? <laughs> well, we'll talk. Uh... Has anybody left? 
Will somebody speak to me? I'm Happy New Year. Oh, uh, this thing that you're doing, this foolish thing. <laughs> not me. Kid. Sixty dollars down, twenty dollars to go when we go to Sam. You're right behind me, Gary. Is Ty there too? Yes, I'm here. Uh, are you touching Gary? No. Is Gary changing you? No. Does it have anything to do with your hair? No. Um, your clothes? Um, yeah. Have you changed your appearance since we saw you last? <laughs> imaginative creature lessons in being being glamorous. <laughs> Which I think is a little bit like sending advice to Dr. Schweitzer, don't you think? Guys, <laughs> yeah. so thank you very oh, much for going along with us. Well, thank you. <laughs> well, actually, we should be very angry at Tyrone Power. He should not even be on speaking terms, really. Because when he leaves here tonight, he is taking part of our show with him. I believe it is... Uh, what is your opening date in Orlando, Florida? Uh, January 6th, Monday. That's Monday. It's That's coming Monday. Monday. Yeah. This coming Monday, Tyrone Power starts a 40-city tour prior to its opening on Broadway, in which he is going to play the part of Adam in Bernard Shaw's wonderful play, Back to Methuselah, and appearing with him as Eve is our very own Faye Emerson. Uh, perhaps I should say, uh, uh, just as for a matter of clarification, that... Uh, Adam and Eve are only uh, two of the ten parts that we play between us. Each of us play five. Adam and Eve is only the beginning. Ah. Well, you've got and a good you haven't to lived with. until you see, now says Adam and Eve. Uh, just a <laughs> moment, please. Well, of course, this is happy news for Tyrone Power, but it's kind of sad news for us, having to say goodbye to Faye, even though it'd be for uh, not a permanent period of time until the show uh, folds. And... Uh, uh, Gary Moore! Will you walk center stage, please? Me? If you just walk center stage, please. About back up I there. Don't trust you. Oh, trust me, every inch of the way. There you are. Now come just center stage. Now, Faye, we'd like I'd like to join you, and we have some flowers for you to begin with. Uh, will someone bring the flowers out, please? The flowers, come out. Oh. Oh. beginnings of the new hairdos on the Hazen sisters. We've had only about 15 minutes to work on them. We are sure they're going to, they're going to work a little more, but hey, I like it. I do too. I like it. It's yep. cute. Thank you very much. Our second problem on such an occasion as this is the thing I just walked into back there, which is that uh, uh, we, we always face these moments with mixed emotions. We naturally want your play to be a tremendous success, but we don't want you to be wait, wait so long that you forget us, you know. And, uh, but I do think this, that there's also the pitfall for actors and the show people. We're inclined to be sentimental. And I think when parting moments come, we're inclined to say kind of sloshy and uh, maudlin sort of things. So I think that tonight we will not be maudlin. We will not be maudlin. We will not be sentimental. We will stiff up our lip and everybody will be happy and cheery and gay. And we'll, we'll say witty things and, and we'll be, let us be gay. Let us be gay. Everybody say something funny. Um, uh, 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 I'll think of something funny in a minute.
This is Sir Mark Dobson, Bill Conman Production. This Meadow Scum by Sorrell. And this is John Cannon speaking.